There was this time, a long time ago, I was sitting in the backyard in some stranger's house, somewhere in New Orleans. I wandered back there because I heard people playing music, and I like music. So I sat down. There was a fire raging, friendly fire. People sitting around the fire, baby, passing around an old acoustic guitar, singing beautiful songs. It was dark outside, but as the fire flickered, I could make out silhouettes. Now they say a lot of things, man, but not all silhouettes are born equal. At least not on this night, because that guitar hit the hands of this silhouette. Started singing something I'll never forget. And I thought to myself, man, if I just stare enough, but not in a creepy way, <laughs> this silhouette will understand. She moves me, baby. Well, I thought I better not stare, because I'm at a stranger's house. Got up off of my log and I moseyed my way over to a stone right by her. And as I sat down, I realized that there was another silhouette sitting by her side <laughs> with a silhouette hand on her thigh. I said, Don't <laughs> Because she 
gave me a telephone number, and I hoped that it was the correct one. <laughs> I thought to myself, well, I just put together this little number, and I like it. I'm going to send it to her. How else was she going to hear? So I sent it, and I passionately waited. Five minutes turned to ten. <laughs> ten minutes turned into an hour. And so, that shit's cold. <laughs> it was the 4th of July. Not this 4th of July. The 4th of July a little while back. And I was on the, on the roof watching fireworks with my friend Mike, who goes by Cracker Bomb. I told him what it happened. <laughs> now Mike is a, he's a man of few words, unlike me, but he, he uses his words wisely, and I trust this man. He's my best friend. I said, Mike, I sent a song about six, seven, maybe eight hours ago. To this silhouette that I met, man. I had never heard a word back. I said, I don't know too much about this technology, but I'm guessing. Somewhere between my pocket, my hand, and my phone, and the satellites up in the sky, some signals got crossed. And my song did not reach her pocket and her, you know what I'm trying to say. And he said, that's ridiculous. <laughs> I said, you might be right. I may be crazy. Then we both sang Billy Joel songs together. <laughs> that isn't true, but as an aside, and I promise I will get to it. Mike, you know, I didn't realize this, but Mike has been uh, sort of jokingly telling me for months, he's like, he'll text me, he's like, next time you come over to the house, you gotta play Fast Car by, uh, by Tracy Chapman. Uh, he, he said it so many times that I actually pulled up a video on my, on, you know, YouTube on my phone, and I, I learned how to play You Got a Fast Car, and then I found out yesterday that the, Luke Combs, a very famous country singer, has a big hit uh, with Tracy Chapman's Fast Car. So you know that my boy Mike is smart. He was, he was telling me to cover Fast Car. Maybe I would have had the number one smash hit. But um, he also told me, whatever you do, brother, whatever you do, do not send that song to her again. I, I get a little excited sometimes. And, this man knows me for many years, and I said, Mike, I would never do such a thing. <laughs> and as the fireworks exploded into the July sky, I turned around real sly. <laughs> Pulled my phone out of my pocket and said, let's shoot it. <laughs> in about three minutes, I got a message that said, mm, I got it the first time, and I like it. <laughs> Sing it with me. You got the roof to the house of mine. You got the roof to the house of mine. Little louder. You got the roof to the house of mine. You got the roof to the house of mine. Somebody scream it with me. You got the roof to the house of mine. You got the roof to the house of mine. You got the roof to the house of mine. You got the roof to the house of mine.